so as my first video, I thought I would do the 50 facts about me video. Dun, dun, dun. So I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this video and yeah, I thought I would do it also. I don't know how to start this video, so we're just gonna go with it. Number one. My height is five foot three, quite small. Full of energy though. My shoe size is size 7 in ladies or size 5 in kids. My favourite flower is sunflowers. I have been on Disney Channel twice. Once was for My Camp Rock 2 which was like an Aussie little challenge show that was going on at the time and the Turn It Up music video of 2013 or 2011 or something. 2012, I don't know the date. I'm a really organized person, I like keeping everything clean, but in saying that, I can be really lazy and messy if I wanna. But I don't like being that person. I hate milk, but I love every other dairy product there is. But milk, I don't know. When I was 16, I cut my hair up to here. Um, it was fun at the time, but it's really hard to maintain when you have really, really curly hair. So, I'm not going to cut it short again. Maybe, just for a change. But I really like it long. I had to cut it recently and I didn't even want to do that. It was down to like my belly button and now it's like not even past my boobs. Well, what you gonna do? I dislike any noise, whether it be slurping your drink, chewing really loudly, breathing really loudly, um, Coughing, um, cracking, anything on your body, your neck, your fingers, anything. I hate it. Really big pet hate. Really, really big pet. I think I have a disorder. It's called misophonia. My favourite food is ravioli for the people that know it as that. But to my Maltese family, you guys know that it's ravioli. Favourite fruit? Watermelon! A watermelon! I love watermelon. I love it. Okay, so I'm anemic, which means that I have really low blood cells in my body. Um, my last blood test came back with like 2% of blood, which is horrible. Basically, to sum it all up, I need more meat in my life. Yes. But at the moment, I've been having iron tablets, which has been helping me a lot and giving me lots of energy, which is great. I have never, ever, touched a smoke and I never will in my life. Someone famous wanted to have a smoke with me, not gonna happen. Never gonna touch a smoke. No, no. I absolutely love my Polaroid camera. I have a wall in my room that is filled with every single Polaroid I've ever taken, whether I'm still friends with you or not, you are on my wall and thank you for being in my life at one point. So for people that go to the movies with friends or you know your partner or whatever family I've actually gone by myself and I really liked it and I will go again so when I went to the movies I watched about time which was awesome and when there was a really good part I looked to the side to like talk to my friend but then I remembered that I was alone and I didn't know the person next to me so they gave me a bit of a dirty butt my favourite actress is Rachel McAdams. I absolutely love her in every single movie she does. Love her. So I'm probably one of the most emotional people you will ever meet. Um, if you know me, you know that I cry a lot and yeah, I cry a lot. My first proper job was at Harry's Cafe de Wills and for people that don't know what that is, it's a pie shop. I worked at a pie shop. Yes. So Harry's Cafe de Wills has like hot dogs and pies and sausage rolls and thick shakes and really cute cafe, but I didn't last. Whenever someone sneezes, I have to say bless you without a doubt. I have to. Whether I know you or I don't know you or if I'm in a test, like when I was in my HSE, I remember saying bless you to someone and I'm like, you can't say bless you, you're in the middle of your HSE. So I have to say bless you, whoever it may be, if it's my dog, I say bless you to him. It's just something I, I have to do, it's become like a little, yeah, I don't know, I just do it all the time. So back to like the crying and being emotional, 
I'm really empathetic. So if someone is really sad or is having a bad day or is having problems, I will empathize and I will cry with them also. Even if I am okay and they're the one that's sad, I will cry too. I've had my license for three years, going on four. When I went for my L's, I failed twice and got them on the third time, thank God. And I didn't decide to get my P's until last year. So I've only had my P's for five months now. So I've been driving alone for five months and I love it. I had my first kiss when I was 12 years old on a cruise ship, the good old p and cruise, and my mum and dad nearly killed me. 12 years old? What was I thinking? One of my all-time favourite movies is Drop Dead Fred. I love it, and I think I love it because I'm kind of like the character. I don't have many, many friends. I'm kind of a bit of a loner, and I kind of imagine that I have a friend there, so I kind of relate to the movie in many ways. A few of my other favourite movies is The Notebook, White Chicks, I love Jim Carrey, so any movie he's in, yeah. So I'm pretty sure I'm in love with Thomas Burgess. So for people who don't know him, he plays for the Rabbitohs, which is an NRL team, and I'm in love with him. Yeah. I was born with a slip disc. Um, I don't think I was actually born with it, I think the nurses actually dropped me when I was little so my disc is like slipped and like I've got half a disc. Um, which leads me to my next question which is I used to pee the bed up until I was about 11 years old or maybe 12, yeah 12, it wasn't high school, didn't cut it. Um, I was about 11 or 12 and still peed the bed up until that age and they said it had something to do with my spinal cord but I honestly just used to picture that I was sitting on the toilet and I would be in my bed asleep and I used to think that I was on the toilet peeing. So that's why I peed the bed. And then I'd wake up and go, oh it happened again. <clears throat> For people that know me, work people, anyone that's a friend of mine, family, you know that I hardly wear makeup. Like I am now, but I hardly ever do. I don't own foundation, I wear BB cream. And if I am going to wear makeup, I normally tend to get my sister to apply it for me because I, I'm not good at putting makeup on at all. She's like amazing and I'm horrible. So in saying that, go and check out my sister's channel as well. I'll put a little link down below so you can click on it. I sleep with six pillows on my bed, but I sleep on none. Weird, I know. I'm self-conscious about my feet. I don't like them. I have the ugliest toes in the world and I have a double jointed toe as well. So I'm a bit self-conscious about that. But I just want to let you know that I hate my feet and they're really ugly and yeah. My very first singing lesson was when I was six years old and I started dancing when I was two years old. A little toddler. The first time I ever sung on stage I was four years old, way before my singing lessons, and I sang Me and My Teddy. Me and my teddy, getting all ready, getting all ready for bed. Hmm. I love cheese. I love it. And it's not good for your voice because it thickens up the mucus and... Oh, but it's so important. I don't dribble very often, but when I do, it's like a volcano. So when I dribble, you do not want to be in the bed with me or around me because you will get drool on you. So stay away, keep away from me. I have two birthmarks, one on my left thigh and one under my right boob. People that know me, I am absolutely obsessed with Disney. Disney movies, Disney Channel, anything Disney, bring it to mama. I love it. I'm gonna love Disney until I'm like a mother. And people go, you're like 20, you're turning 21, you shouldn't like Disney anymore. I'm like, that it. Once a Disney kid, always a Disney kid. That's what I say. I absolutely hate shaving my legs. I will keep my legs hairy for two weeks if I could. Sometimes I do. And I just wear trackies or tights. What you gonna do? 
being a girl is really hard. I'm a really, really honest person, so I will tell you straight out how it is. If I don't like your hair, I'll say I don't like it. I'm a really honest person, so I guess I kind of make a good friend, so if you want to be my friend, hit me up. If I'm having a really bad day, if I'm depressed about something or something's gone wrong that day, you will definitely find me in my room watching Friends. It's more than likely going to be Friends because that's my favourite show ever. Or you'll find me in the Maltesers, eating ice cream, Ben and Jerry's preferably, eating raw cookie dough or having jelly bellies. When I was little, I used to think that someone lived under my bed. So when I had to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, I would get up really quickly, switch on my light, piss bolt to the bathroom, switch on that light, stand on the wall, <sighs> breathe really heavily for a couple of minutes like I was in a movie, go to the toilet, get back up, switch that light off, piss bolt back to my bedroom, jump in my bed, cover my head, go to bed. I was petrified. I honestly thought there was someone living in my room. Don't laugh at me. One of my all-time favourite quotes is from Disney and it's a Jiminy Cricket quote. It's, if your heart is in your dream, no request is too extreme. The very first song I ever wrote was called Best Friend and I wrote it for my friend Janessa. I'll give you a little um, demo. My best friend, you're always there when I need you. A true friend, you're always there by my side. My best friend, you're always good to hang around. My best friend, you always help me when I'm down. I'm a little bit of a songwriter, not gonna lie. So recently I was in a girl group called Beats and we made an appearance on X Factor 2014 and we auditioned with Hollaback Girl. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out because it was awesome and was an awesome experience. And so grateful, I absolutely love strawberry thick shakes and mocha frappes. Oh my god. The car I drive is a Suzuki Swift GLX and it's grey with a purple number plate that says Miss BA. So my favourite artist would have to be... I can't be. You will normally find me with seven hair elastics on my wrists and four in my hair. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I've been biting my nails basically from birth. I hate it. I don't know why I do it. It's just a habit and I want to get rid of it. It needs to happen. Mm. I always sleep with the fan on, whether it's cold, hot, whatever the weather is, the fan is on. I have been in love once. Last but not least, I am absolutely petrified of the ocean. I can see the floor. I'll be fine, that's okay. I can see the floor and the little fishies or whatever. I went snorkeling in New Zealand with Taylor and Cadence and the minute I couldn't touch the floor, it wasn't even that deep, I started panicking and I nearly drowned. So I'm really scared that I'm gonna be in the middle of the ocean one day with no one around me and I'm gonna drown and like gasping for air. I'm really petrified of that and I'm also petrified of crossing the road. I don't know if I died in my previous life from crossing the road or a car like came and swooped me off the road but I'm petrified of it. I have to cross the road at the right time when the green man is on. Otherwise, can't do it. Can't do it. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure you stay in tune to see many more covers, challenges, and any other videos that you guys request to me. Make sure you like and comment on this video, and make sure you definitely subscribe to my channel so you can keep an eye out for many more videos. Follow all my social medias down below, and I will see you next time. Peace out, A-Town, brought to you by Brooke. Ah! The memories are fading. My heart's still racing about the things we used to do And you know that I still love you, but oh